Hi there, today I'm talking about the dilute gene. Unlike uh, dominant genes such as broken, the dilute gene is recessive, which means it must be present in a double dose in order to create dilute, okay? However, with recessive genes, you can have a rabbit that does not present as this variety, but carries it, in which case it's a carrier. So as you can see over here, a non-dilute with no carrier is going to be two capital D's. A carrier, which appears non-dilute but carries dilute, is capital D, lowercase d. And then a dilute, such as a blue or lilac, is going to be lowercase d, lowercase d. Um, as I said, blue or lilac are the two main versions, the two versions of dilute. And you can see them in various varieties, like blue, lilac, uh, blue otter, lilac otter, broken blue, broken lilac, you know, all of that. But blue is the dilute of black, and lilac is the dilute of brown or chocolate. Goodness. <laughs> all right, so let's take a look at the squares. Let's say you were to cross a non-dilute that does not carry and breed it with a dilute. Now, if you're just looking at the rabbits, you would think, oh, well, I'll probably get half and half, right? But no, because the parent does not carry dilute, you're going to get 100% non-dilute kits. However, whenever a kit is born of a dilute, it will carry it. As you can see, the dilute passes down dilutes to each of the offspring. But the solid parent that doesn't carry also passes down that solid gene as well. So you're going to get 100% carriers of dilute who do not present as dilute, okay? Sometimes people do test breedings to see if their rabbit carries dilute or not, and this is one of the crossings that might happen. If you breed a dilute and a non-dilute a couple of times and you never get a dilute, chances are that non-dilute does not carry it, all right? Over here, we've got a carrier and a dilute. So this is an ideal crossing if you're trying to get some dilutes. On here, the carrier you see has one capital, one lowercase, and then the dilute has the two lowercase. And in this, you're gonna get approximately 50% dilutes and 50% carriers of dilute who are not dilute, if that makes sense. So these would be, say, blacks who carry blue. Um, this is a decent crossing to do um, because if you're trying to get blues or lilacs, you need a carrier to do so, or two dilutes which actually we're gonna talk about this too, even though I don't have it written down. Um, over here, we've got a non-dilute non-carrier to a carrier. So these are two non-dilute animals, but the carrier has that dilute gene hidden. So as you see, you're gonna get half or so non-dilute non-carriers, but you're also gonna get half or so non-dilute carriers. And again, the only way to truly find out if a rabbit carries something or not is through test breeding. Let's go back to the thought of a dilute-dilute breeding. Even though I didn't write it down, picture these lowercase d's all around. What are you going to get? Nothing but lowercase d's, right? So if you breed a dilute to a dilute of the same kind, like a blue to a blue, chocolate to a chocolate, all you're going to get is dilutes. Sorry, I didn't mean chocolate to chocolate. Lilac to lilac is what I meant. The only outcome possible is dilute. So, um, yeah. So I think I covered all the bases. Again, if you have any more questions or knowledge, please drop it in the comments below because I am always ready to learn more and I don't know it all. So thank you for being here. Have a good day. I wanted to add one more combination of breedings, and that would be a dilute carrier to a dilute carrier. Again, I don't have it written down, but picture here, capital D, lowercase d, capital D, lowercase d. What you're going to get is 25% non-carriers, 50% carriers, and 25% dilute. So you can actually get a dilute from two dilute carrying parents, even if they are not dilute themselves. I just wanted to add that one because that is another one that kind of surprises people.